kindergarten friends. Welcome back to math. We are going to review yesterday's lesson and you're going to practice writing number sentences with a minus sign. So if you remember what a minus sign looks like, that'll be easy. But what you might need for today's lesson, you might need a piece of paper, those counting cards that we made the other day, and something to write with, okay? All right, so here's what's gonna happen. What you can have mom or dad do, or grandmas or grandpas or whoever is home with you, you can have them draw some boxes on the paper. I started with just a couple sets so we could do this through pictures, okay? So what we're gonna do is the first thing we have to do is we have to look at what we have and how many we have. So as I look at this one, I'm gonna count how many I have all together or my whole. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to write that first, that's my whole. I'm starting with five boxes. And today, because we're learning to do takeaway, we have to put in a minus sign. Do you remember what a minus sign looks like? That's right, it looks like just a little dash that goes across. So we're gonna have five minus or takeaway. And then I don't know how many to take away. So that's where these cards come in that we made the other day. We're gonna mix up our cards and then you just choose one. I got three. So I'm gonna do five minus three. And then remember that's an equal sign and that's gonna tell me what's left. But this three tells me how many I need to cross off. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna cross off three of them. One, two, three. So five minus three equals how many are left? You got it, there are two that don't have any X's in them. Okay? All right, let's try another one. So let's see how many boxes I'm starting with. Let's count our whole first. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna write a five first. Then that minus sign or take away. And I'm gonna pull out a card. what I get this time? One. So I'm gonna do five minus one. Again, that number tells me how many I have to cross off. So I'm gonna cross off one then equals how many are left with no X's on it. One, two, three, four. Down, over, down some more. Five minus one equals four. Good. Let's try one more. Let's see what our whole is. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm five minus or take away and let's pull out another one. Oh, let's see here. I got a two. So five minus two equals, remember that number, second number tells me how many cross off. One, two, how many are left? Five minus two equals three. One, two, three. Good job, friends. Good. You could also, instead of just using boxes, you could use circles. And this time, instead of using the cards, maybe you have an old game at home or any game at home that your moms and dads will let you take the dice out of. So that's what I did. I took the dice out of one of my games so that now I can use a dice to play the game. So here we go. First thing, remember, I have to start with my hole. So I gotta figure out how many do I start with? How many are already there? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, Six, okay, so I'm starting with six this time. So I'm gonna make a six. 
use that takeaway minus, and then I'm gonna roll the dice and see how many circles I'm gonna cross off. Whoa, how many circles am I crossing off? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Six minus six equals, so I gotta cross off six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many circles are left there for me? Yeah, there aren't any. So if I had six things and I take six things away, I would have nothing left. That's a tricky one, isn't it? All right, let's count the next one. Let's try the next one. Are you ready? Oh, I'm noticing something here. I see one, two, three, four, five, five and two more. Oh, do you remember how to do five and two more? Yes, it's seven. So this time I'm starting with seven, take away, and let's see, roll my die. <gasps> seven, take away, one. So remember that one is how many I cross off. So I'm gonna cross off one. How many are left? Five and one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven minus one equals six. Good. All right, let's try one more like that with our dice. All right, let's go on down here. Let's count how many we start with. What's our whole? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you could say five and three more is eight. So I'm gonna start with eight. Make an S and close the gate. Take away or minus, and let's see how many we're gonna take away from eight. Three, around the tree, around the tree. So remember this number, my second number is how many I'm taking away. One, two, three. Eight minus three equals what? How many circles are left there? You got it, the answer is five. So eight minus three equals five. So that's one way that you can practice some of your subtraction facts. You can have moms or dads or somebody write you out your pictures and then write your number sentences with it and help your subtracting by using your cards or the dice, okay? I'm gonna show you another way that you can play a game. And for this one, you can use either a piece of paper to write down all your answers on, or I learned a trick the other day. If you have a dry erase marker at home, like one of these fancy dry erase markers. If you have one of these at home, you could use this and then you wouldn't have to use all your paper. But you also need to have, I have a plastic bag here and then I have another piece of paper. And I'm gonna take that piece of paper and slide it inside my bag. And once it's inside my bag, I can use this little marker and I can write on the bag. And the cool part is, is when I'm done writing on the bag, if you have an old sock at your house that maybe didn't lost its match, Mrs. Shimon has an old sock that lost its match, and watch, you can just erase. So then you don't have to use all your paper. So you can either use a dry erase board for this, or you can use a piece of paper, either one, okay? And then, I'm gonna set that aside. The other thing you'll need is you're gonna need some counters. I have some counters. Now, they're not the counters like at school, but my kids like to play with Legos. So I'm gonna use a Lego tower. And this Lego tower, how many Legos are in my Lego tower? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you were right, there are 10 Legos in my Lego tower. 
And what you can do is the same things that you were doing with your cards. You could use your cards for this, or again, you can use dice for this. And I think I'm gonna stick with the dice for right now. And then I'll show you some with cards and I added six and seven into my cards. All right, so here's what you do. You start with your Lego tower and you say, how many am I starting with? I think I'm gonna start with, let's see, if I take these ones away, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight in my tower, so that's my starter, eight. And then minus, remember, because I'm gonna be practicing subtraction and taking away, so I'm gonna make my minus sign, and then I'm gonna roll my dice, and I got, oops, hard to see there, sorry, I got a two. Eight minus two equals. So that two tells me how many I'm taking away, so I'm gonna take two off the top. One, two. How many are left? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So eight minus two equals six. Good. Let's see if we can get a different one. Let's start with eight again. So I'm gonna put those two back on and you don't have to do it in a tower. You could do it next to you too, if you wanted to. If you wanted to do it like this. So I have five up top and three more down below. So that's still eight. So I'm gonna show eight. And then I'm gonna minus, cause I'm gonna take away, got my dice. Take away, how would I get this time? Yes, I got a five. Down, around, put on a hat. Equals, so eight minus five. So I gotta take five of those away. And remember, just like you did with the counters yesterday, with the fishies, you can take five away. One, two, three, four, five. So I took five away in my hand and I'm left with how many? You got it, I'm left with three. And then you have a chance to write your sentence and then you can do it again. So you put all your counters back. Five in my first row, three in my next row. I'll do eight one more time just because I'm doing so good with it. And let's do eight minus, and what do I get? Eight minus three. Hmm. I wonder if that'll be something similar. Eight minus three. So I'm gonna take three away. One, two, three. How many am I left with? One, two, three, four, five. Eight minus three equals five. Good. All right, maybe this time let's do say seven. We'll do seven, all right? And this time, instead of using the dice, I'll show you what it's like when you use the card. You just mix your cards up. And I'm just gonna start with the top one and do five. Whoops, can't see the five. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my first number, that's what I'm starting with. Take away or minus. The number I flipped up is down here, that's five. Seven minus five equals. So now I'm gonna take away five. One, two, three, four, five. How many are left? There are two left. Seven minus five equals two. Again, or you could say seven take away five equals two. And you can keep playing that way. Okay, so then you can practice with your counters, with your numbers. If you have a dry erase, you can use a dry erase. If you don't have a dry erase, you can just write them down on a piece of paper just the same, okay? Remember, this is our minus sign. That means we're taking things away, 
All right, boys and girls, have some good time subtracting.